Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I will be sharing four DIYs that turned out so beautiful. So let's begin with the video. In this first video, I'm taking this piece of wood that I had in my garage and I printed out this pretty image from graphicsfairy.com. I will list them in the comments below. I took two of these metal pieces that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm using some dark brown paint along with some territorial beige. I'm going to actually mix them together to lighten the color. Now I'm going to take some of the paint mixture and I'm going to start painting the wood piece. And I will be wiping it off with some baby wipes. Now my wood piece is complete. Now I'm going to take the image that I printed and I'm going to try to distress it a little bit to make it look vintage looking by applying some of the paint and wiping it off. Now I'm taking a piece of this towel and just dipping it in the paint lightly and just going to try to coat the area where the birds are. I don't want it too thick so that's why I'm just kind of patting it down. Now I finished distressing the image. Now I'm going to take some plaster uh, Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to paint the little metal pieces, the little corner pieces, and try to make it look distressed. So I'm going to be using double-sided tape to tape it to the board. I placed down the metal hinges on the board and I'm taking some of this metallic gold paint and just going to dab it on the little hinges just to make it look vintage. Next I will be taking these little nails and I'm going to hammer it and put the hinges in place. And this is the finished product, what it looks like. I think it came out amazing. It looks so vintage, you can lay it anywhere on the shelf. I love it. It's so adorable. Moving on to our next project taking two of these clay pots that I got from Dollar Tree, these plastic baseballs that I got from the toy department at Dollar Tree, this wood skewer came in a pack of 20 I think from Dollar Tree, and this moss. Everything here you see I got from Dollar Tree. Now 
I'm cutting the flower foam and I'm going to place it in the flower pot and then I will be hot gluing it down. I'm taking some of the moss and I'm breaking it down in pieces so it's easier to apply to the little baseballs. I'm taking hot glue and I'm going to uh, saturate the whole entire ball and I'm going to start patting down the moss. This was one messy project, but you know what? I really enjoyed doing this project. It was fun. Um, so I'm just continuing, just patting down the moss on the glue. Now I'm measuring the skewer. So I'm cutting it down right now just to make sure it's the right height. Now I'm taking some hot glue and I'm placing the little moss ball on top, applying some glue at the bottom as well, and I'm going to place some moss inside the little pot. Moving on to the next flower pot, I'm going to repeat the same steps. Off camera, I did take some antique wax and a little paper towel and just kind of wipe down the little sticks to give it some color. Now I'm using some ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. It's kind of like um, burlap type of ribbon. And I'm just going to hot glue it around the little flower pot just on the top portion of it. Now I'm taking some of this jute twine, it's a uh, wire jute twine, and I'm going to hot glue it um, like a little kind of zigzag around the wood stick to make it look like one of those topri you get at the store. And this is what they look like once they're finished. I really think they came out amazing. I truly, truly love these. For this next project, I took this canvas I got from Dollar Tree, this burlap that's kind of like glued burlap from Joann's on clearance, some white Waverly chalk paint, some Mod, Mod Podge, and I printed this image from Google and I used my Cricut to print this vinyl. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the staples from the back of the canvas, which was a little difficult. So I end up just actually cutting the back end off and just remove the canvas from the frame. Now I'm taking some chalk paint and I'm going to paint the frame. Now I'm taking this burlap and I'm going to staple it to the back of the frame. Now I'm taking the image that I printed and I'm going to be applying the Mod Podge to the frame and to the image.
I did end up making two of these. Now I'm applying the vinyl to the bottom of the frame. I'm using 100 grit sandpaper and I'm going around the sides of the frame and lightly distressing it. I didn't like the way the frame was looking in white so I did end up changing it to antique wax. Last DIY, I'm taking two Dollar Tree frames, two candlestick holders, and I'm using plaster chalk paint. I'm also using these two little stick-on foam tabs. I guess you use these for the bottom of your furniture. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking the frames out of the plastic and cutting the tags off the candle holders. And I'm going to remove all the backing from the frames and because I'm going to be just painting the frame. Now I'm taking the candle holders and I'm uh, painting it with the chalk paint. It did take about three coats. So here I'm taking a 100 grit sandpaper and I'm going to be distressing the frame so the silver grayish color will pop out. I will also be using this on the candle holders as well. Now I'm taking those little foam tabs and I'm going to hot glue them to the top of the candles. This way it gives the frames a little more support to be glued to. So I'm taking a little bit of the jute twine and I'm hot gluing it around those little tabs just to hide it because I don't want it showing. So the candle holders need a little bit of height for the frames to sit on. So I wrapping a little bit of the twine around my hand and forming this little tiny circle of twine and hot gluing it to the top. And this way I can place the frame on top of it and it gives it a little more character. I did add a little twine bow to the candle holders off camera. Now I'm placing the pictures in, back into the frames so this way I can apply it on the candle holder. I'm taking the hot glue now and I'm gluing the frames to the candle holder. This has to be my favorite DIY. I love how they turned out. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.